Where are we going? To the hot gym. To do what? To fish and catch fish. Yeah, but what are we going to do? Fish in the creek and flip. Flipping chestnuts, right? Yeah. Only flipping chestnuts, right? And putting rocks in. No. Only flipping, only frogging. That's what we get to do. I know it's crazy, but usually, whoopsie, see like that stick back there? That's another thing that's something worth looking at. But it's hard to get them out from way back there. I think yours, mine, it's only a quarter ounce. Yep. On the edge it will. It's hard to pull it down through though. It's hard to have the line. It sounded like a uh, cormorant. Oh, well you sounded like a cormorant. You yawn, hiccup, burped, and farted all at the same time? I don't know. Man, that's some talent. <laughs> See, sometimes I'll take it and I'll just flip it back and I'll make some disturbance on the surface and then I'll let it fall through. It depends. You got to determine and try to find out through the course of the day. Like that big girl yesterday, she was on the bottom. Sometimes they're suspended right under it. Sometimes they're halfway under. Sometimes they chase it down to hit it. Sometimes they come up to hit it. And that's what you guys got to determine. That's what you got to figure out. Yeah, but once you start getting bites, see the problem is with no bites, uh, you're not figuring nothing out. <laughs> but when you start getting bit regularly, you can start to piece together what the pattern is. And again, historically, not so much the middle of the beds, but the ends. And again, that just makes a place where you can, you know the end is good concentrate make a couple of different presentations if you've got a ditch a um, you know for example there's one bed that I know where it goes along seven eight feet on the depth finder along the edge and then you get halfway down the bed and it comes right up to three to four feet and historically right there in that three to four foot section which is about 40 yards long, get some bites. 
It's just like a bottom contour. It's just like fishing a forest when you got a flooded forest. You got to ignore the trees and try to fish the actual hard structure under it. You find chestnuts that have a hard bottom. That's good. It's rare to do that, but there are some spots. Not just mud. But historically, these need mud to be able to plant the seed in and hold fast. If there was no current, they could pretty much grow just about anywhere. And they'll grow deeper, like Lake Champlain. They'll actually get out deeper than what they will on the river. High tide wouldn't be a bad thing to go in there and fish that inside row. I don't think I've ever been in there. Contrary to what you believe, Tim, there are places I haven't fished on this river. But what's good is if you can bomber cast that frog, cover both the inside and the outside at the same time, I hope you determine where you can get bites. A lot think it's an easy formula. You just come out. But like most weed beds, you get bit once, chances are there could be another one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh oh. Not even a keeper. Thank you.